Oh boy, I sure love Donkey Kong Country. Yeah, there's no questioning that Donkey Kong Country is probably one of the best games ever created, especially for the Super Nintendo. Look, man, I love the game so much that I actually have a Donkey Kong Country painted Super Nintendo controller. Yeah, these were one of the few that I actually kept from the giveaways for the ones that were sent to me. I, I really, really love Donkey Kong Country. I mean, like, man, this was a game I really grew up with, and, I mean, it really influenced me as a gamer. It's one of the best platformers. It was groundbreaking at the time. I mean, just look, man. Look. It's, it's amazing. But I can't play it at a good resolution on my big TV in the living room. And e even if I emulate it, it's not the same experience. If there, if there was just some way to play Donkey Kong Country 2 on the go, if there was just some way to get a Super Nintendo Classic Edition as well, how, how could I potentially take care of both of these very niche needs? Hmm? Portable video game player, 16-bit Sega game, oh... Oh, oh boy, ha, 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 Donkey Kong Country! But wait a minute, I don't recall Donkey Kong Country being for the Sega Genesis. And look, it plugs into the TV. I mean, it's not HD or anything, but wowee, man, I can, I can, Take this wherever I go, and plug it into the TV, and play my Donkey Kong Country on the go! This is amazing! Oh no, 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 no. We don't really care about this device itself. We're here for something special. We're here for Donkey Kong Country. But not just Donkey Kong Country. Oh, you're, you're gonna see something you're gonna have nightmares about for a long time, folks. Loading. Nice blue skies in the background. What exactly is Donkey Kong Country doing on here? And what exactly is uh, Super Mario World doing on a Sega Genesis system? Well, no, this isn't gonna end well. I found it. I have several questions. Why is this called Donkey Kong 99? Let's start it up and see something we'll regret. Super Donkey Kong 99. Yeah, not exactly how I remember it. I just jumped on a rat and it made the noise of a screeching car. It has an incredibly choppy frame rate of something like, I want to say 15 to 20 frames a second. Oh, and let's point out the simple fact that you're not even playing Donkey Kong Country. You're playing some sort of weird, strange hybrid of Donkey Kong Country 3 with Donkey Kong. Instead of Dixie Kong and Kitty Kong. So... This music is severely inaccurate also. <laughs> this this is horrendous. This is this is Did that alligator just scream? when I jumped on him, like a little girl scream. Oh my god. I'm... 
This game is actively encouraging suicide. I, I promise you, in some way, shape, or form, this game is actively encouraging suicides. Here's the continue screen. That's familiar. Just like the good old Super Nintendo. And when you continue, it just sets you back to start. There's no overworld. There's no map. This is a game. Somebody made this. How? How is a Super Nintendo game supposed to run on a Sega Genesis clone console and a handheld at that? I understand that there's massive, massive leaps and bounds in technology, but this is, this is terrible. This is really piss poor, man. Like, you could probably have put a Super Nintendo emulator on this just to run a few Super Nintendo games. And by the way, Sega games don't work on this properly either. It doesn't have the speeds for it. Oh, but NES games do. <clears throat> Donkey Kong 99 has to be one of the absolute worst ROM hacks and selling points for this console. I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious when I say it's advertising Donkey Kong Country as a selling point. And all of these Sega games, they don't even work right on this game console. This is, hands down, one of the worst things I've ever played in my life. Potentially worse than that plug and play system I have reviewed beforehand, and several others before it. But, to emphasize my point, this isn't the worst system I've ever played, because for whatever reason, the NES games work perfectly on it. I need, I need a drink, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to go ahead and, and sign out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <sighs> what else is there to say about the system? Ladies and gentlemen, the battery's low. We should return to the menu. So uh, we can charge the battery and we can play some more games. If you guys would like to see a full review of this game console, you let me know in the comment section below. Give me a big thumbs up and uh, I'll make sure to hit up several of these games and uh, show you how, uh, how amazingly great they can be. Until then, I'll see you next time. Thank goodness this game console came with a nice carrying case. Wouldn't want it to get damaged at all, would I? Nope. <laughs>
it's putting in a solid effort. It really is. It's trying. <laughs> this is like what Sonic on the Super Nintendo would be. It 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 almost be there. It almost be Sonic. It's just it's just not quite there. There's something wrong. <laughs> this is pathetic, man. This is sad.